The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. All right, Jay Strobe here with realagriculture.com for this episode of the Canola School with Autumn Barnes of the Canola Council of Canada. So Autumn, today we're gonna to talk about the Canola Council's new stand establishment tool. Um, why don't you just let us know exactly how this tool works? Sure, so the tool itself is on um, canolacalculator.ca. It's not that new. Uh, in 2017 is when we first built the, the first stand establishment parts of it. So we have the plant density or the target plant density calculator and then the seeding rate calculator. And then this year, the brand new thing that we've added is just adding some seed cost into that as well, some seed cost parameters. So um, the old tools, you could figure out what kind of target you would want to set for plant density or plant population. Um, based on a few different factors, you can kind of toggle through these switches and say, you know, are you in a longer season area, a shorter season area? Am I concerned about frost once the canola has come up out of the ground? Um, and you can kind of pick if you want, um, you know, a, a plant density on the higher end or the lower end of that scale. So that was kind of the first part. Um, and then building a seeding rate based on what your target is. So say I'm targeting six plants per square foot. Um, all of my canola seed has come in. I've got some seed lots that are four and a half grams per thousand seed weight and some that are maybe six and a half or seven. Um, those should have uh, different seeding rates. And so the tool lets you play around with that and figure out what your seeding rate is going to be. Um, and then this year, the add-on that we added, we can kind of see what that means for your bottom line. So um, maybe you get some really small seed lots uh, this year and, and you wanna try and drop your seeding rate. You're usually seeding at five pounds an acre. If you've got a four gram seed, seed weight, then generally speaking, you could probably drop that down to hit what your, what your target is. So um, that is, uh, the, the real new functionality is that kind of dollars going in. All right, so what would you consider good stand establishment? Yeah, so what I would consider good stand establishment it would depend. I mean, but really I'm looking for five to eight plants per square foot in a nice, healthy, uniform stand. Um, but the cool thing about the calculator is that we, you know, my perfect stand is not necessarily yours. And you know what? Every grower is, might have a different, different target. And also depending on the field that they have, um, they might. So if I'm, if I'm looking at a field that has some issues with herbicide resistant weeds, or maybe it's just a really dirty field, there's a lot of weed problems that maybe it was poorly managed in the past. Those are those, those fields that you're going to want to bump that um, plant density up. But you could also, you know, if you've got a nice clean field, you're going into nice warm soil. Um, maybe you're not in Southern Alberta, you've been getting some good rains um, and, and you're, you're thinking the crop's going to come up and be really vigorous, then you could potentially bump that down to five plants per square foot. All right, well, let's go take a look. Sounds good. So we're here, we are on the site. Let's see exactly how this works. Sure, so um, let's pretend that I'm a grower who's always just seeded at five plants, or sorry, five pounds per acre. I never really thought about how many plants I'd be targeting. So the first tool I'd be looking at is this target plant density calculator. So I'll, I'll check this out. It's gonna um, give us a few different options here. So, um, if I'm pretty confident that um, that my cedar is doing a really good job, I've got really good solid emerge or solid uniformity. I'm going to move that toggle all the way over so it says very uniform. Um, maybe I'm in southern Alberta, my soils are nice and warm, and I'm out of the the period where I'm concerned about frost. So I'll scroll down here. Weed control. You know what? Let's say I've got excellent weed control, no problem weeds in that field. Um, and in season insect damage, we'll leave it in the middle because um, maybe we're gonna have some issues or we might be concerned that we have flea beetles coming up or something like that. And we're in Southern Alberta, so we're gonna have a longer growing season. There we go. So I'm actually gonna move my early season frost risk, so it's not usually a problem. That's why the number didn't change. So it's not usually a problem in, in Southern Alberta, say we're seeding in mid-May. Um, even after, say, May 7th or 10th, we're not too worried about frost. So our target plant density is five plants per square foot. But now, say, we're maybe west of Highway 2, we're a little bit more concerned about frost. Um, maybe we're on a weedier field that we haven't been farming for as, as long, or maybe it just hasn't been managed as well. Maybe there's some issues with herbicide-resistant weeds. And I don't have a lot of confidence in my, in my seeding implement. So you can see now that our target plant density is up to seven plants per square foot. 
So we can then take that number um, and we'll go back to one of the other fields or one of the other tools. So we could just go up to the top where it says canola tools. We'll go to the seeding rate calculator um, and we're going to use a couple scenarios here. So say I went and picked up some seed. I'm, I've been booking seed or figuring out seed for canola palooza. So I've got a couple seed lots in the back of my mind. I've got a 4.2 gram and a 6.8 gram thousand seed weight. So we're going to enter in here 4.2. Um, and then we're going to scroll down here, our target plant density. You know what? Let's use that same scenario. It'll automatically populate. So we're targeting seven plants per square foot in this case, and we've got say 60% emergence. So we can see here that our seeding rate is going to be 4.7 pounds per acre. Um, and our seed cost, um, say it costs 12 bucks a pound and it's going to cost us $56 and 40 cents an acre. So right around five pounds an acre, which is awesome. Um, many growers end up doing that. But now what happens when maybe we get a heavier seed lot? So say we've got a 6.8, um, with the same parameters. So we're still targeting seven plants per square foot. We're still, um, expecting a 60% emergence, except for all of a sudden now we're seeding at seven, six, seven point six pounds per acre to get that same seven plants per square foot. It's going to cost us $91 and 20 cents an acre. So it is a pretty big difference. Okay. So, so we've got, um, that seven plants per square foot, um, target, and we see that we've now we're supposed to be seeding at 7.6 pounds per acre to get our seven plants per square foot, which it just seems like a lot of money. So let's see what we can do. Maybe, maybe this is now a field where, we, where we've got a little bit more confidence um, in, uh, in the length of our growing season, or we just want to push it. You know, quite frankly, we don't want to be spending, you know, over $90 an acre on, on seed um, and seven plants per square foot is a little bit on the high end. So now let's drop it down towards the lower end and, and the lower end for plant density target in where, where I feel comfortable is five. So if we're targeting five plants per square foot, um, with that 6.8, that heavier seed, and we still have down here that 60% emergence, um, <clears throat> now we're going to be seeding at 5.4 pounds per acre. So you could say, well, I'll just seed at 5.5 pounds an acre no matter what, but that's not really a very precise way of, of farming. And if we're trying to get these incremental increases where we can, you know, make a little bit more profit, get better emergence, um, we're going to have to use tools like this to have a good understanding of the instances where we should be dropping our seed rates potentially or, or increasing them. But the goal of this tool is really to get growers thinking about plant densities instead of this five pounds per acre seeding rate. That stand establishment is about, um, you know, plant density, plant establishment. It isn't about pounds per acre. So, um, so we've played with that. Um, now we can move on to emergence. So let's pretend that um, I was out surveying some canola fields that were, were emerged. And let's say I was averaging about five plants per square foot um, when I was out counting. We'll use that same seed lot, that 6.8 gram seed lot, and we'll say that our five point or our, our seeding rate was 5.4 pounds per acre. So we can see that our emergence is 60%. But what happens if we knew that we seeded at four pounds per acre, for example? Now all of a sudden we know that we must be doing something right or the environment all cooperated. Now we have an 82% emergence. So that's, that's really it. It's a pretty simple tool to use. Um, and, and I'm hoping, well, a lot of people have been using it over the past couple of years. So hopefully we get a, a lot more people thinking about plant density and how they can improve their canola establishment.